Petty Talk That Boxing. I'm Mr. A here on WRT Boxing with Mr. A. We're doing a breakdown and prediction of Julian Williams versus Joshua Conley. It is the return of Julian J. Rock Williams after that devastating loss to Jamal Charlo. Now, this is going to be on the undercard of Robert Easter Jr. versus Dennis Shavanoff for the lightweight strap on Bounce TV on PBC June 30th. Now the breakdown, <clears throat> the breakdown here, let's see, I, I use, I'm going to go with the challenger first, well, the, who is the challenger here? I would say uh, J-Rock is the A-side, just because of uh, his tough upbringing, so let's go first Joshua Connolly. Not much is known about Connolly, he has a decent amateur background, like 100, 100 something fights, um, forget all that stuff though I, I, I try and just focus on just on the what you have you done for me lately in the pros and your last fights not much was to research on Joshua but what I can find is he's a he's a a slow paced fighter he sets traps um, he, he, he occasionally he will fight on the he will fight on the front foot he has, a, he, has a, he has a good jab to set his whip up. And he, he has a body jab. But he's more comfortable fighting off the back foot and trying to allow you to set yourself up to be countered. So I believe he's going to allow Julian Williams to dictate the pace and try and find counters in between on Williams combinations and then what's going to be hard is if Williams pressures him and throws multiple combinations like three to five punches I don't know if Joshua can handle that volume coming at him but if J-Rock is throwing one to three punches I believe he will be able to get countered within that especially if he's coming in a straight line so that's all Joshua is going to be trying to do. He's going to, uh, I believe Joshua is just going to be on the back foot, uh, pawing out the jab, trying to get Williams to reach over it for some counters. And he's going to be setting up the body jab to try and uh, coax him into uh, moving faster, trying to get some of that energy to burn from him. And constantly just turning Williams throughout the match, just turning him, turning him. Going on the back foot once in a while, going forward with a body jab and a, jab, a regular jab, but mainly I see Joshua just on the back foot, waiting for a counter in this fight. And for as far as a J Rock, he's gonna have to be patient and not to overshoot his load, not want to prove something back on his uh, knockout loss to Jamal. But for the most part, against Jamal was the most. Um, hectic I seen Williams fight he doesn't usually fight that fast so I'd be surprised if he comes out and fights anywhere at that speed against Joshua I don't know if it's just the fact that Jamal has some heavy fire coming back so J-Rock knew he had to answer back and protect himself I don't believe Joshua's going to have that type of power coming back at Williams now Williams is going to have to fight patient give because Jamal Joshua is going to give an opening to Williams because he's going to be on that back foot, pawing out a jab. He wants, he wants J-Rock to reach over and try and counter it so he can counter his counter with either a hook to the body or just right over the top. <clears throat> and I think the whole fight is going to be like that. J-Rock's going to use ring generalship not to be a turned and not allow Joshua just to lead him all around the ring I think uh, he's going to have to keep his punch J-Rock's going to have to keep his punch combos down to like 3 at first to maybe like round 7 he's going to have to constantly J-Rock likes to use these little angles to do some uppercuts he's going to have to go in straight and then turn at the last minute to get some shots off at Joshua because Joshua is waiting for a setup counter on Williams all day. That's all he's waiting for. Set up counters with the hooks and uppercuts as he backs away. And J-Rock's going to 
have to be smart. He's going to have to be patient, like I said. Come in and turn, 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 Joshua. That's my breakdown. And as for a prediction, I'm going with a huge upset on this. I'm going with uh, Joshua Connolly. He's going to score a unanimous decision. I think he's even going to drop J-Rock at least one time during this fight. So that is Mr. A giving you a breakdown. And Mr. A doing a huge prediction. I got Joshua Connolly coming off with the upset on the uh, split decision over J-Rock Williams here on the undercard of Robert Easter Jr. versus Dennis Shevinoff on June 30th. PBC on Bounce TV. This is Mr. A giving you a breakdown of prediction. Please subscribe. Enjoy the video. Enjoy all future content. Thank you, and I'm out of here. Mr. A is out.